Hello, thank you for visiting the channel. And sorry, I have been away for a long time, uh, busy at school, busy at work. Uh, today, we'll talk about the River Maya saga, Rico Blanco versus Perf de Castro. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Again, my name is Dean Rod Vera. I'm a law school dean and a copyright and intellectual property lawyer. I've been counsel, or I am counsel, to several bands, such as Razorback and Wolfgang, and I've done some trademark work for Itchy Worms. And um, today we'll talk about a recent hot topic. Uh, here's the story. Perf de Castro, the original guitarist for River Maya, uh, who left in 1995 or 96, I believe, almost 30 years ago, uh, is, lives in the States and is a regular performer. He has several bands in the States and comes back here once in a while. And I think they did a River My reunion a few years back. Rico Blanco, who was one of the original, uh, who was the original keyboardist for River Maya and also a composer of the majority of songs for that band. But a few years ago, Rico Blanco did leave River Maya. And now there's a reunion uh, coming next year. And so there's a the first issue was how come Perf de Castro was not invited to the reunion? Uh, I believe reading the social media posts of Perf de Castro, he didn't mind at all. But lately this November, certain songs on YouTube, uh, particularly the song 214 by R River Maya, of which Perf de Castro was in the recordings of the original uh, master tapes. He had a couple of performances, live, live performances on video. Um, according to his statements, he sought clearances from the licensing service, those in charge of the sound recordings, and he got clearance for that before he uploaded it to YouTube. Rick Blanco then initiated a copyright takedown of the video, citing him, citing himself as the composer of the songs. Now, where's the legal issue here? Who has more right to the songs of 2 and 4? Is it Rico Blanco or is it Perf de Castro? Who has the better right over the song 2 and 4? Is it Rico Blanco? Or is it Perf de Castro? Well, I would say it's a gray area, specifically with the parts written by Perf de Castro. Now, on record, Rico Blanco is the composer of the song 214. So under the law, he is the author of the work. Now, I don't know exactly what the record agreement was, or the recording contract between the River Mice original album and the recording company. Usually, and I know it's not all the time, most record companies, they make crossroads contracts, which means you sign away with the devil. I'm not saying all recording companies are devils, but we know the history of what they can do. So, Perf de Castro was an original member of the band River Maya. And everybody knows how great a guitarist Perf de Castro is. And he composed and, and how do you call it, drafted, made, it's all his idea for the iconic solo in the song 214. Just as the iconic keyboard intro for that song, which is most probably done by Rico Blanco. So who has a better right over those songs? It's going to be subjective. Now, copyright law was created for better empowerment over artists, meaning it it, the law was drafted or is drafted for give, to expand the rights, to give more protection to both authors and performers. For the original recording, Rico Blanco is the composer, but Perf de Castro is an original member of the band and his solo is directly credited to him. So in that sense, he is also part composer of the song, not on paper, but in essence of a musical composition. As a performer, Perf de Castro also has certain rights. In fact, it's available to him as a performer of, in the song 214, he has rights in a certain way that he can actually stop any, he can have the same rights as Rico Blanco in so far as playing of the song, whether it be YouTube or any other platforms. But they're very limited. In that sense, I'm saying that Rico Blanco does have greater power over Perf de Castro, but only on third parties. Here, we have original members fighting each other. I don't know the history between them, and I, didn't want, I don't want to find out. It's not my 
uh, it's not my business to know why they split or why they don't have are not so much friends. But over the last 20 years, Perth de Castro always has reunion concerts or at least plays with them or meets them up every time he comes home here. I'm not taking sides per se, but I would say that Rico Blanco is a little bit, I don't want to say selfish, but he should have given leeway to Perth de Castro in so far as uploading his version of the song, his playing of the solo in his YouTube videos. Everybody knows in the music industry that Perf de Castro, that solo in 214 or 214 is Perf de Castro. I'm not saying that Rico Blanco is less of a guitar player, but nevertheless, that solo is credited to Perf de Castro. Just as the way Bamboo sings the song, his melody, his intonation, his syntax, if you will, is credited to Bamboo. Is Bamboo credited as an author? Not necessarily, but is Rico Blanco also stopping other versions or other uploaders of the song 214? Or he just targeted Perf de Castro? I don't really know. I'd like to bring up a very good point here. Let's say Rico Blanco is the composer of the song, but it's credited as, Rico, as a song by River Maya. He did leave the band, which means he's in the same footing as Perf de Castro leaving the band as well, although Perf left earlier. So in so far as today is concerned, is River Meyer back? We don't know. It's back on paper, but are they performing again in public? He did live publicly and left uh, the band with only two original members, the drummer and the bassist. Has Rico Blanco stopped them from performing the songs of River Maya? If he hasn't stopped the bassist and the drummer, can he stop Perf de Castro? Or in that sense, can Perf de Castro stop anyone any guitar player or any performance of 214 based on his solo, or in fact, all the songs in the first album of River Maya. Those rights belong to Perf de Castro, and he, it is available to him if he invokes them. I certainly hope that this issue can be settled, and uh, as you know, in the, music, the, mu the music industry is very small. It's not wide. Uh, there are only very few players. Uh, River Maya is a band from the 90s, and they've been existing until now. A Perf de Castro is a well-known guitar player, both here and in America. And so I hope that it won't go to the level of Daryl Hall and John Oates, who are now suing each other. This is Dean Rodbear saying, it's not what you know, it's what they don't know. Stay cool, guys. Hi, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It'll help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again.